Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk a little bit today about PG. Well, what's PG? PG is short for Porphyromonas gingivalis. Porphyromonas gingivalis is probably the primary bacteria that we find in gum disease and that causes gum disease and that causes bone loss. Well, what I thought was interesting was I was at a New York airport at LaGuardia Airport a couple of weeks ago and I was browsing through the magazine section and this is what I saw and this says does this one microbe cause all of these conditions heart disease stroke Alzheimer's diabetes Parkinson's preterm birth pro uh, weight loss pancreatic cancer kidney disease and many many others I have known for a long time, and I've been researching this for a long time, about the systemic effects of gum disease. So when you have gum disease, it doesn't just affect your mouth, not by any means. Those bacteria, the PG, and also the other bacteria, and we check for spirochetes and other parasites that seem to accompany PG. So we check for that, we take a sample from under the patient's gum and look at it under a microscope with the patient. And then if we see that, if we see these other bacteria that, or spirochetes or parasites that are visible, we know that in all likelihood, PG is also present. Then what happens is these organisms get into your bloodstream and they lodge and affect almost every part of your body. There's almost no disease that I can think of that isn't linked to gum disease. And in fact, a well-known physician from a Cleveland clinic said that if you have an unhealthy mouth, and I think it's primarily gum disease, it can shorten your life by six to seven years. And I totally believe that from what I've seen. So it's really, really, really important to have your mouth healthy and your gums healthy. People just don't realize it. There's no symptoms frequently. People don't have any pain. They don't have any discomfort. But these organisms that can come from anywhere, they can come from food, they can come from kissing, they can come from pets, they're all over the place. They can't really be avoided. But the, one can learn how to prevent them from multiplying and causing infection. So if they're present, they need to be eliminated and then one needs to be taught and instructed on how to prevent reinfection. And that's what we do here. So it's very, very important, more important than ever to keep your mouth healthy because if you have a healthy mouth, your body for sure is going to be healthier. So take care of yourself. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, comments, questions, all of that stuff is, we'd love to have it. And most importantly, have a great day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.